and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review for Dead Tomb on Xbox. Now this released on the 26th of January 2024 and it's developed and published by Collectivision Games and Acclaim. Oh my god, it's good to see a game developed by Acclaim. You don't see that enough anymore nowadays. And it's published by 8-Bit Legit who were kind enough to send us a copy for this review. Now, this game is awesome. I really like this one. It's a modern retro game, basically. So it's it's designed to look and feel like those good old-fashioned point-and-click adventure games used to play back in the day. Like, when I look at this game and I play it, it reminds me of a time when I used to play, like, on my mum and dad's PC. It might have even been, like, DOS back then. And like all these games were like that where you had to like click on things and then you had the options of what to do like do i want to look at things do i want to throw something do i want to use something that sort of thing and experiencing that again now with those old school like retro graphics but obviously running on modern machines is absolutely fantastic now this game has obviously been made by uh, Collectivision Acclaim. It's available on console, Xbox, you've got it on Switch, and I believe it's also coming to the actual NES, which is amazing. Like, it's got 8-bit graphics, and it can run. You can buy a physical, physical version of this game on the NES. How awesome is that? But I'm playing this on Xbox, mainly because I like to get those sweet, sweet achievements as well. I'm not going to lie, but this game, oh, it ticks all those right nostalgia boxes to me. Like, it's not stupidly difficult to the point it's unplayable, it's enjoyable, it features, like, beautiful, like, cutscenes and stuff like that, and sort of really nice UI, in-game graphics and stuff like that. Basically, the game follows your character you're from like the distant future i believe it's in the sort of 3100s or something like that and you're sent to go back in time to sort of study things and stuff like that now your like space time ship has a malfunction you end up in egypt in uh, 1300 bc and you sort of land by this pyramid and then one thing leads to another you uh, get bopped on the head and you wake up inside this pyramid alone. And you basically have to explore the pyramid, work your way through a variety of different rooms, eventually freeing yourself. Now, the game isn't massively long in length. You're probably looking a couple of hours, depending on how sort of long it takes you to work out some of the puzzles and, like, backwards and forwards making sure you go into the right areas and stuff like that so there's a good couple of hours worth of gameplay in this it's also a very easy 1000 gamer score so you could pick up the 1000g in 10 minutes if that if you know what you're doing you don't have to progress very far into the game to get the full completion now the game itself though is priced at three pound and 99 pence on xbox digital only Playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, but for three ninety nine, you're getting an amazing old school experience on a modern console. Like, I wish there was a time I could go back to and play games like this again. Like, they were my childhood. I remember playing loads of them because back then my computer, like what we had for a family computer, couldn't run like Doom or anything like that. Even though Doom nowadays runs on like a watch. I had to, like, play the slow, pick your, like, choose your own adventure point and click style games where it was all text and stuff like that. It was like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do with each item? And that's what this game feels like. It's, it's a love letter to that genre of games. Now, apparently, this is based on a game that was called Temporal Inc. Now, this was only available on the defunct VideoWay cable service, which was in Canada and apparently in the UK during the 80s and 90s. I couldn't verify that. I've not ever had the chance to use that, but they never like backed them up back in the day. So this has been like 
built to be very similar to that but it's its own little thing and i think they've done a good job i did have a quick look online and saw a video of the like original game and i think they've done a, a spot on job of like homaging that with this game so 8-bit legit have published yet another retro inspired banger on switch xbox and the fact that it's actually physical on nes consoles is amazing i love it when we're getting these nes re-releases absolutely fantastic apparently it also plays on the phoenix video game system which is pretty cool like i say i'm not really following much of collectivision nowadays but the fact that they've made it playable on them is awesome so check it out it features awesome chiptune soundtrack really cool like graphics for that style in that amount of bits it even has cutscenes. there's an interesting story and characters to interact with as you progress lots and lots of back and forth and investigating and sort of trying to figure out what to do that gives your mind a little bit of a, a workout without being too stressful honestly fantastic little game can't wait to play more i hope we get more like this because it was absolutely awesome but anyway guys hit that like button hit subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you think of this game are there any other sort of retro inspired games i should check out let me know i will do my best to play them and until next time guys bye for now